Welcome to Chum Children Online Sunday School Videos. I am Miss Katie and I want to welcome you back to another sweet day here in Custom Creations. I'm just bursting with excitement today. Just like a starburst, but I don't have any starburst. But there's nothing sour about that. Those are my Sour Patch Kids from before. They're really good. So, we are talking about how we are made so wonderfully and we are made as individuals with individuality. It's a big word, but we've been learning it all this month. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. There's only one of you and you are created in God's image. With God's help, you can make the most of all of those things that make you special and unique. You can use the unique, unique ways that God made you to make a difference for other people around you. And we are gonna talk about that today. So I have our Yay God moment. It's a great time for us to hear from kids just like you and kids including you, either through our website or through our email address if a parent or grown-up sends us an email or when you see me in person and you want to share something with me. I have another in-person gift. So... This is from my dear friend, Abigail. Miss Abigail loves unicorn and drawing and putting smiles on people's faces, including this unicorn that when, oops, gotta fix it. There we go. This is how it's meant to be. When the unicorn opens its mouth, guess what? Blah. It has rainbows coming out of its mouth. It put the biggest smile on my face and I started laughing so much. And Abigail knows that God made her to be someone who can sing and dance and draw and do amazing things and that she can bring joy to people's life. So that is her yay God moment. You know what? We're going to put that right here. If it stays, there we go. So thank you, Abigail, for that amazing Yay God moment. If you have a Yay God moment, make sure that I can find out about it. And maybe you can be featured next month. So we have our song that we've been learning all month long that's called Gloriously Free. So I want you to stand up and get ready to sing and dance to that right now.
that you really enjoyed that song and it got you up and dancing and moving and praising God. So we have our Bible story for today from John, Brandon, and Kellen. And this is a Bible story about a woman named Lydia. Maybe your name is Lydia. Maybe you know someone whose name is Lydia. I have a friend whose name is Lydia. So I'm really excited to hear this story and I hope you are too. So Let's go check out the So and So Show right now. What are you doing, John? Oh, uh, hey, buddy. I'm about to have some of this tasty treat. Oh, yeah? Eh? What is it? Green beans? No. Corn? No. Bean and bacon soup? Yuck, no. Black beans? No. Red beans? No. Pinto beans? No. Garbanzo beans? No. I give up. What is this tasty treat? It's Candy. Can candy. Candy doesn't come in cans, John. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll bet you a pie in the face Ooh. that that is not candy. You're on. Canned. E. Candy. <laughs> I thought you said there was a tasty treat. Yep. Tasty, right? Yeah. Key lime, my favorite. Oh, mine too. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nope. Right on the hairline. Mmm. Greetings and salutations, our friends. Oh, fancy. Always. Uh -huh. I am Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. And what a show we have today. Am I right, Brandon? That's right. The, you know, the beauty is, we don't even know what the show will be today. That's right. Because whether you're at home or at church or on the International Space Station, wherever you may be watching our show today, you are going to choose what happens on today's show. You get to create your own So-and-So Show. Okay, here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna do the show like normal, but whenever John and I have a choice to make, you're gonna make the choice for us. All you have to do is cheer for the choice you want, wherever you are in the world, and we'll go with whoever cheers the loudest. You got it? Got it. I was talking to them. They got it. Okay, uh, so let's start. Um, John, how is your day going? Oh, uh, so good, so good. My Aunt Suzette came for a visit this weekend and she always brings me Candy. Oh, that is good. Yeah. I want some candy. Do you have any left over? I don't know. Let me see. Ugh. Yeah, just a little. Whoa! We'll never be able to eat all that. Oh, uh, you may be right. Hmm. Hey, you know what? I've always wanted to make a portrait of my face out of candy. Huh? Oh, no, no, let's make something that people will actually want to look at. Yeah. Uh, right. Like the Eiffel Tower. Oh, there it is, your first choice. What should we do? Should we make the Eiffel Tower out of candy? Or a portrait of my face. Start cheering now. Yeah. Turn up the uh, audience microphone. I want John! Oh! Okay, it sounds like you all want us to make a portrait of John's face out of candy. It's your choice. So let's get to work. Come on! And voila, 
That is unique. Yes, a treasure to keep forever. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. 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 Gluey. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's perfect right there. Oh, look at that. The eyes follow me wherever I go. Oh, boy. It's time for someone who knows. Oh, oh okay. You get to decide who our guest is going to be. I think it should be the founder of the candy factory, Sweets to the Max, a man who's never given an interview or even been seen in public, Mr. Billy Bonka. And I think our guest should be my cousin, Howard. He's a dentist. Really? What? Good dental hygiene is very important. Tooth decay is a huge problem. Just let them vote. All right, what's it gonna be? Whimsical candy connoisseur Billy Bonka or Howard the Dentist? Start cheering now. Billy Bonka! Candy! 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 My mom's a dentist. The people have spoken. Please welcome someone who knows. <laughs> Come on in, welcome, oh, welcome. Oh, here, here. Ooh, let me get that. Awesome, awesome. Uh, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, I'm Billy Bonka and I own the largest candy factory in the world. It's amazing. I think so. <laughs> so uh, what do you love about candy? No, oh, what's not to love? The sugary sweetness, the chocolatey chocolateness, the creamy caramel deliciousness. Yes! I love it all, yes. But what I love most about candy, Yeah is the profit margins. The profit margins? Yes. Let me just show you this candy bar. Yeah. <laughs> graph. It's a bar graph for candy. As you can see, <clears throat> the actual cost of a chocolate bar is 11 cents, but we sell it for $2.50. And then with quality market research and kids focus groups, we are able to determine the right color packaging that will lead to the highest profit margins. Uh -huh. Do you know what the key to any successful candy company is? Uh, delicious candies? No. Variety? No. Strategic shelf space and positioning. The most profitable candies are the ones at the approximate eye level of an average sized child. Children want what they see. It's really that simple. Huh. Uh, I think we're out of time. Uh, are you sure? I have this uh, delicious chocolate pie. Pie? Chart. It's a pie chart. For chocolate. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show today. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Uh, pie chart. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. Yes. For chocolate. So your cousin's a dentist. Too late. Okay. It's Bible story time with Kellen. How's it going, gentlemen? Well, what do you got for us today? Well, our story today is about a woman named Lydia. And to help me tell it, here... Oh, you get to choose how we tell the Bible story today. Okay, I shot a film version of the story. Or I can read it. Start cheering now. Lydia! I'm not the dentist. No, that was a close one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think you chose John! What? Take it away, my friend. Oh, roll it! Let us go down to the river and see if we can find a place of prayer. Paul, over there. I'm Lydia. Let me tell you the message of Jesus. Yes, I believe this too.
to be true. I want me and my entire household to be baptized. Do you consider me to be a believer in the Lord? If you do, will you all come to stay at my house? Yes. That was it? Well, there's not a lot about Lydia in the Bible. John's right. We actually don't know much more than what we just saw. But it was important enough that Luke, the author of Acts, thought he should write it down. And while we don't know a lot about Lydia, there are some really cool things we can guess based off what we know from history. Oh yeah? Like what? Well, we know she sold purple cloth, and this region was known for its purple cloth, it was considered a luxury item. So there's a good chance that Lydia had a thriving business with lots of wealthy customers. Cool, so she was probably really good at her job. What else? Lydia was the first person we know of that became a Jesus follower in Philippi, the very first. And later on, when God miraculously broke Paul and Silas out of prison, do you know where they went? Where? Lydia's house where all the other Jesus followers with Paul were staying. Lydia had used her skill as a business person, her talent as a craftsperson, and the money she made to provide housing for Paul and all the other believers while they were in town. And she most likely became an important leader of the church in Philippi. She was willing to use her gifts to serve God by helping others. This could be a much longer movie. <laughs> Definitely. I think one of the reasons Luke wanted to include this story was to show that God can use our gifts, no matter who you are or where you are. Every person has something they're good at that can be used to help others. Thanks. That's great, Kellen. Thanks so much. Yeah. You're welcome so much. I'll see you guys next time. Later. See ya. Bye. That was really great. Oh, yeah. I, I love that there's so much more to people than what we just see on the surface. I mean, it was just three verses in the Bible about Lydia, but... Here we are talking about her nearly 2,000 years later. Yeah, I think it's a good reminder that everyone has something to give. Everyone has something they're good at. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. Reveal the question. What are you good at? Maybe you're really good at a sport. Or understanding math. Or maybe oh, you're really good at making people that feel left out feel welcome. Everyone has something they're good at. And what's cool is, that you get to choose how to use the gift God gave you. Oh, which brings us to your final choice of the show. Okay, what should we do for the credits? I say, we eat my self-portrait. Mm. <laughs> and I say, we bring on my cousin Howard, the dentist. Start cheering now. Dentist! I can't tell who won. Let's do both. Yeah! <laughs> See you next time on the So and So Show! Yeah, bye! It's tooth time! Woo! Yeah! You get a toothbrush! You get a toothbrush! You get a toothbrush! You get another toothbrush! Yeah. Floss time! One for you! One for you! Cause I got some tongue scrubbers! Oh, Scrub your tongue! There's top pocket floss right here! Oh. You got top pocket floss! That gets all of the little gremlins out! Tongue brush, tongue scrubber. Yeah, I gave myself a cut. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, Lydia's story isn't one that you hear very often, but she gave us a great example of how we can use our individuality to help others. She put her faith in Jesus, and then she immediately put her faith into action when she invited Paul and his friends to stay at her home. Remember, Lydia was gifted in making the type of cloth that sold for a lot of money. But she didn't just keep that money for herself, though. She used and took whatever she was good at, which was making those cloths and the clothes, and she used it to help other people.
So that's what I want you to remember today. Use your gifts to help others. God has given you gifts that you can use to help others too. And gifts can look different for a lot of people. Like a lot of us. Maybe you're talented at making something like Lydia. Our, you know, um, Abigail, she's a good drawer. I'm not as great at drawing. I try really hard though. Maybe you're a really good listener so people can come to you and talk to you when they're upset. Or maybe you like to help people learn things. That is something I'm good at. I think I'm a pretty good listener too, but I really love helping you all learn about God and learn about other things too. There are lots of different ways that God gives people gifts. It's all part of your individuality, but no matter what your gifts you have, we want you to use your gifts to help others. So let's take a moment to practice our memory verse. It's our time where we get to put part of the Bible into our hearts so you can remember it for forever. So, if you've been with us the past couple weeks, I put my hand in the candy. I think my brain was just like, go for the candy, but no, not yet. If you've been with us, maybe you remember your memory verse by now. If not, no worries. I'm going to say it once through, and then you can follow me too. Here we go. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. Psalm 139, 14. Let's do it together one more time. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. Psalm 139, 14. So, it is that time of the video where we get to thank God for being with us and teaching us all the things that we've learned today. So, I want you to close your eyes and quiet your hearts, and we're going to talk to God right now. Dear God, I thank you so much for all of our friends who are watching this right now, because God, this time is a really great time where we get to celebrate and worship you. Thank you for this story about Lydia and helping us to know that, God, you've given us talents and skills that might not look like other people's, but we can use those to help others. Thank you for making us into the custom creations and individuals that we are. And help us this week to remind others that they were made the exact same way, as special and unique as they are. We love you. And it's in your name we pray. Say it nice and loud, friends. Amen. I've had so much fun talking to you today, and I hope you have had fun too. Remember, we post our videos every Friday at noon. So ask your grown up whenever you can watch the next one. Remember this, I love you, I miss you, I cannot wait to see you, whether it's on this screen or in person. I will talk to you later. Bye friends.